We let us wrangle with Liz and Justin, uh, Sky News host Liz Storer uh, from the Late Debate here on the desk with me and in Melbourne as ever, Justin Smith, broadcaster, author and man about town. Whatever that means. I'd like to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm know. sure Justin can tell us. <laughs> I hope it's not defamatory. Now let's talk about, um, <laughs> let's talk about US politics <laughs> and I, I'm interested to get your thoughts on this, Justin. Why, why don't we get into it? What I love is a couple of times Kamala Harris has done announcements They've done these faux phone call things that they film for social media. Oh, yeah. They are oh. so oh, twee so and cringe. so fake. Have a look at this one. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honoured, Madam Vice President. Have you ever had a phone call as abysmally inauthentic as that, Justin? Uh, no, I uh, I don't like those. I really wish they would stop doing I've seen them do that a few times, and I think it is just appalling. Um, she's got a great chance at running a really good campaign here, a really strong campaign, and getting herself into the White House. I'd love to see it sort of done in a very genuine fashion when they're talking about real things that are going to affect their people and what they can fix and how they can attack the other side. And, and, and I'd love to see a little bit more of that and a little less of the the, the fake garbage that the, the sort of creeps garbage. in. But it's, it's like uh, you know, the old speakerphone thing, you know, it's like when people are answering, the, you answer the phone in the car, just let you know the kids are in the car or they're <laughs> get, getting in early. Keep <laughs> it clean, keep it clean. <laughs> um, but this this is so pathetic and, and the thing is uh, Justin's right, let, let's have a proper debate here. She hasn't done a press conference, she nope. hasn't even done an interview no. and that, now you can get away with that for a long while in America but at mm -hmm. some stage she's going to have to front up, right? I think she's waiting for the DNC. That'll give her a big boost to popularity while everyone's celebrating their new presidential nominee and VP nominee. What's really surprising about this pick, though, is obviously when it comes to VP picks, you're looking for someone who's a bit of a yin to your yang. Yep. And instead, what she's picked is just a mirror image of herself and has created a real power couple, a socialist <laughs> another mirror. power couple. These are two people who openly talk about how wonderful socialism is yeah. and how it should be implemented and the ways that we can do that in modern society and help out our everyday man. She's basically picked a fat Bernie Sanders <laughs> and this guy doesn't even have oh, come any on. ties. He doesn't have any ties to oh, a must-win wow. state. Minnesota has not supported wow. a Republican presidential nominee since Nixon in 72. This is a so, very, very blue state. So I'm scratching my head head because he just doesn't tick any of the normal boxes no, well, that a president looks for in a you, potential nob I, I've uh, got to say that, I'm, that, loving, I'm loving the attacks on that camp. I'm loving the attacks that are going on on that side because they, some of them are so lame it sort of shows how much of a, uh, a threat that Kamala Harris really is to people. They've got to dig out the fact that she laughs too much. And I know a couple of weeks Neither ago, of uh, mentioned Liz, you that. mentioned <laughs> a, a story. You mentioned a story about how uh, Kamala Harris had an affair with a, a married Willie man. Brown. Anyone with access to Google would be able to find out that Willie Brown had actually been separated from his wife for 10 years right, when he right. had a relationship right, yeah, with Kamala yeah. Harris. So, come on. I mean... Yeah. Even, even they, they haven't tried. To convince people of news. that.